Hi everyone, welcome to the stethoscope. Today in this video we are going to discuss that how you can study chemistry for the IMAT. Studying chemistry is a lot of fun, right? We bet at one of your favorite subjects. Do not disappear. The subject is hassle for most of the students, especially when approaching the subject for the first time. However, having a good grip on it is actually fundamental and probably the best strategy to pass IMAT. The only way to approach this challenging subject is to have an efficient study method based on the well-planned schedule and stick to it with firm determination. For chemistry, you should not spend hours leafing through the books, rereading the same pages endlessly. Chemistry is a practical subject and you are required to solve exercises. It's imperative to have a daily plan for each topic. First, you should study the theory chapter and then you may practice around 20 quizzes on that same topic. In this way, you will maximize your study. Remember to do active recall. Once in a while, look back and revise your work. This will help you to memorize better. Let's focus on chemistry now. Depending on the school you have attended, you might have studied chemistry more or less than other students. Do not panic. If you are not confident with stoichiometry and pH, it doesn't mean that you are a lost cause. You will simply need to work a little harder. Now let's discuss some of the IMAT chemistry books. For this section, I recommend you to study Pearson's Higher Level Chemistry or you may study Cambridge International A-Level Chemistry book. For the revision, I recommend you to study Exam Crackers, MCAT, Organic and Inorganic Chemistry books. And for improving your calculations, I recommend you to use calculations for A-Level Chemistry. Here are some of the tips to guide you. Start with a periodic table. You will need it in the months to come anyway. Put it on the wall of your room, learn it and commit it to memory. Yes, learn it by heart. At the test, calculators and periodic tables are not allowed. Many of the test questions assume that you know where the elements are located. Besides, once you have mastered it, many of the inorganic chemistry topics will be easier to understand. Try to understand and remember the mechanism behind certain exercises and you will start to get them right. Discover which topics come up most frequently and make them your strong points. Write down your mistake and specific revisions in an exercise book to not make those mistakes again. Create a formulary to write down the most important formulas and measurements. Many test questions are tricky. Ask for help if you don't understand a topic, if you keep getting the same exercise wrong and your textbook is not helping, reach out to someone who knows better. It will be a great benefit to you and there is nothing to be ashamed of. And the most important tip is to time yourself. These are our tips for you. Take into account that hardly anyone studies hard for chemistry. Being well prepared is not that difficult and can really make a big difference. The effort will be worth it. Not convinced yet? You should know that chemistry is one of the first exams you will have to take during your first year medical schools in Italy. Study hard and good luck. Thanks for watching.